good afternoon now we will see the uh, uh, problem number 5 from assignment number 5 determine the slope at point a and deflection at point c of the beam e 200 in gpa and i is equal to 8 into 10 raised to 6 now first we will directly go with ei value so i will write here over here ei is equal to 200 into 10 days to 3 into 8 into 10 days to 6 and then we will multiply into 10 days to 9 minus 9 to convert into kilonewton meter square and then it becomes 1600 kilonewton meter square. Now if we will go with this, so if we will find reaction at A, so you can have, you can find it by taking moment about A equal to 0, equal to, we have 50 clockwise minus Rb into 8, because Rb into 8 is anti-clockwise and therefore Rb we will get it as 6.25 kilonewton. So you can see if you will apply F0, so automatically Ra or Va we will get 6.25. Now, if we will take bending moment at point C, then what we will get? So, we will get 6.25 into 4. So, it will be 25. So, 25 upon EI, that is just left of C. If we will go right of C, then what you will get? So, right of C. So, whenever we have moment, right of C is 6.25 into 4. This will be left of C and this will be minus because anti-clockwise plus we have 50 and then we will get 25 which will be clockwise. So it was above. So this is below. And then if we will go for uh, conjugate beam with loading, a roller remains a roller, simple remains simple. So we will get this diagram. Now we are interested with slope at A. So we have this will be VA. And then this will be VB. Now, if we will take moment about B0 now. Moment about B0. So, what we will get? So, we will have VA into 8. This will be anti-clockwise. So, minus sign plus due to this triangle. So, this triangle, if we will calculate. So, we have 1 half into 4 into 25 upon EI and this will be 50 upon EI. Where it will act? It will act at one third of 4. So this will act as 4 by 3 and then we have this will be 4. So how much distance we will get? 4 by 3 plus 4. So that will be 16 by 3. So we have plus 50 upon EI into 4 plus 4 by 3, which will be 16 by 3. And due to this, again, we have this will be 50 upon E as same we have. And then from this, we will get this value VB. So minus, we have anti-clockwise. So 50 upon EI into, we have 2 third of 4. And that is 0. And if we will calculate this, then we will get value of VA, just I have calculated, but just I will check it into 16 by 3 minus, we have uh, 50, 100, 400 by 3. So 400 by 3 divided by 8, we will have 16.67 upon EI. 16.67 upon EI and therefore theta A we will get 16.67 EI value we have 1600 and this value comes 0 0.01 radians. Now we are interested moment at C because we are interested with delta at C then we have this value equal to VA we have 
एंटी क्लॉक वाइज माइनस अपॉन ई आई इंटू फोर प्लस फिफ्टी अपॉन ई आई इंटू फोर बाई थ्री एंड देन वी विल गेट इट एज माइनस सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू फोर प्लस टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री एंड देन इट कम्स जीरो देयरफॉर वी हैव ऑप्शन एस डी स्लोप इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन रेडियंस एंड डिफ्लेक्शन एट सी इज जीरो नाउ वी विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट देन अगेन वी हैव टू सी कैंटिलीवर यूर फिक्स अपोर्ट बिकम्स कैंटिलीवर रोलर बिकम्स हिंज हिंज बिकम्स रोलर फिक्स बिकम्स कैंटिलीवर सो वी हैव दिस हेयर यू कैन सी फिक्सड वी हैव फ्री देन कंटिन्यूअस सपोर्ट बिकम्स इंटरनल हिंज इंटरनल हिंज बिकम्स कंटिन्यूअस सपोर्ट एंड देन वी हैव ऑप्शन दैट इज बी ऑप्शन देन वी विल गो लास्ट प्रॉब्लम इन दिस सो वी हैव दिस विल बी बीम and simply supported symmetrical beam and therefore if we will calculate reactions then we have this reaction 20 kilo newton we have this reaction also 20 kilo newton ei will not change your reaction you take moment about any point that will be equal to zero and from this you can find it now you find bending moment diagram so 20 into 2 so bending moment at b will be 40 then we do not have any load between b to c or if you will calculate at c then we have 20 into 480 minus 20 into 240 so this will remain as it is 40 upon e i 40 so this is my m diagram that is bending moment diagram now how we will get m by e i diagram so we have to divide it by e now at point b we have two values of i one is i another is 2i so first we will divide at b by i then what we will get so we will get value that is 40 upon ei so we have this value 40 upon ei now we have to divide it by 2i because at point b we have two values so if i will divide it then it will be 20 upon ei because 40 upon 2 ei becomes 20 upon ei same we will get over here so this will be again 20 upon ei then at c we have two values 40 upon ei and then we have this will be zero so we have this will be m by ei diagram m by ei diagram now we will draw bending moment diagram along with reactions now you can have total load if you will calculate total load then we have this will be downward direction so we have two triangles and then we have one rectangle so we will get reaction va equal to vd equal to total load by 2 total load by 2 what is total load now so we have Two times we have two triangles. Is therefore two times two into one by two into forty upon e i into two and divided by two. So plus that was remained actually, and that we have twenty upon two e i into two. and then we will get these two two gates cancel so we have 80 this value and this will be for 40 so we will get 120 upon ei and we will get this value 60 upon ei that value i have shown here that is equal to 60 upon ei now we are interested to find deflection that is at center so we have to find that is at c so we have to find at c so this will be 2 meters and this will be 1 meter so this will be my center and then i will find m at center which will be equal to delta at center and then we have 
equal to due to reaction 60 upon EI multiplied by 3 that is due to this reaction then we have this total load that will be half into 40 upon EI into 2 so it becomes 40 upon EI minus 40 upon EI what will be its centroid so centroid from this is 2 by 3 and this will be plus 1. So total centroid we will get it as 5 by 3 for this triangle. So we have into 5 by 3 minus due to 20. Now we have a rectangle of 1 meter. So we will get it as 20 into 1. 20 upon EI into 1 into 0.5. And if you will calculate this, then we have 180 upon EI minus 200 upon 3 EI minus 10 upon EI. And we will get this value that is equal to so 180 minus 10, 170 minus 200 divided by 3. I got this value 103.33 upon EI. And now if I will write delta at center, we have EI value same. So equal to 103.33 upon 1600. This value we will get in meter. Multiply it by 1000, you will get value in millimeters. So 1600 into 1000, 64.58 millimeters. So this will be 64.6 millimeters. And then we have option that is C. So we have option for this, that option is C option. Now we will stop here only. Remaining part we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.